was a pretty challenging time in my life. Um, my mom had died pretty suddenly right after we moved to Fort Wayne. I was in the process of going back to school uh, to become a, an attorney and um, I was married, three kids, and I just decided I didn't want to be adversarial and that I really wanted to get on the other side of people's lives. Um, my mom had been sick for only two weeks before she passed and we found out that part of that was because she was in such good health that it didn't take her life sooner. And I thought, wow, it's so important for us to be as healthy as we can, to be living the life. I was grateful she had the time she did to keep living um, fully before she did die, even though that was too soon. I think it's really important to have patients be engaged in their care. Um, I always tell them it's like if you were 18 years old and you got a brand new car and they told you this is the only car you're ever going to have for the rest of your life, you would take really good care of it. And so I try and tell them this is the only body you get. And so how you take care of it really speaks to how you know well you're going to be able to live your life. And so I try to engage them in the whole process of taking care of their health. Try to help them understand why that we're doing the things we are and help them make the choices. In addition to being board certified in family medicine, I am also board certified in um, lifestyle medicine and that's through the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. This um, particular specialty focuses on the choices we make on an everyday basis, how we eat, how we move around, um, whether we get good sleep, um, how we deal with our stress. But, you know, as the American society really has a very unhealthy diet and, and our diabetes is going up, our hypertension, our cholesterol. And so these are ways that we can treat chronic diseases without all the medicines. There are times when we still need the medicines, but people can affect their health to such a great degree through the lifestyle choices they make, you know, how they eat and things. And so I've spent a lot of time studying, um, attending conferences, meeting with some of these great people that have done research from the Cleveland Clinic, from Harvard, from Cornell, and um, it's really important to me and that's a lot of what I really like to impart to my patients, the choices they have to help with their health. I walk my dog, I have a great dog, and um, so we walk at six in the morning per mile and then at night, um, especially on a hard day. I think it's good to be outside. And so we just go walking and then um, the other thing I do is spend a lot of time with um, family and friends. And relationships I think are important. I think I'm just really persistent and um, my mom used to say I was idealistic and so I keep thinking that things can be better. I think people can have healthier lives. I think that we can all be healthier, that we can all be better, and that I can somehow help that for people. It sounds corny, but it just make a better world. I love to kayak. I love to explore places and um, new people. So I always like with my friends to make sure that if there's someplace new in town or some event going on, um, I'm the one that's figuring it out to like, let's go do this, let's try it out. I love people's stories. I, I'm just a really curious person. I was ready for a change in my career and I thought that this might be a good place where I could help a lot of people that really need some help with their health care and maybe haven't been able to always access it as well. I have to say the caring. They don't just talk it, they really live it here. Um, I was so impressed when everybody said hi to me the first day, you know, and they were just so friendly and, and helpful and, you know, from the physicians to the nurses to the MAs and um, receptionists and it's and it's all true. I mean you walk in and everybody's saying good morning and 
all of my patients and especially ones that um, chose to follow me here, everyone has said how amazing it is and how friendly everybody is. And you know, that sign they have downstairs outside that says welcome in you know, a zillion different languages, um, truly to me is what it feels like here. They are committed to their mission of helping everybody access good medical care. And I just wanna be part of that. I choose neighborhood health clinics because of caring. 